I think we have one training session more and then decide and we'll see if he's involved or not on the game. Are you optimistic? No, I think it's only to assess tomorrow and then decide. I think it's a lot of competition in front. Uh, Sony is available again and it's about decision and to see how he is or is it the decision is to keep uh, him training or, or be involved and that is the decision that they're going to take tomorrow. Yes, I think he was training really, really hard to try to keep fit and to improve in different areas. Um, I think we are happy the last few weeks uh, he was um, unbelievable in the way that he was available to, to train and, and to compete in every single training session and hope that is going to help the team uh, from now. No, it's going to be a very difficult opponent because, you know, um, they need to, to start to win points and they're going to be tough, uh, of course. Uh, it's hard with a new manager, a uh, new signing, um, and of course, uh, all that is going to make uh, uh, to be more focused them and, and try to be compact. And, and for us, of course, after to have a very good result against Manchester City, um, of course, our trust and confidence are higher, but in the same time, respecting that Newcastle is going to be tough to beat, to beat them. No, I think uh, Lo Celso is, um, is a situation that is not going to be easy. Um, he was in holidays, extending holidays after the Copa America. Um, he didn't have a properly pre-season. In Betis Sevilla, didn't train too much. And then uh, he signed for us one week with no training and then I think uh, he's training well, but still so far away from what we expect from him. And and we need to give time, of course, um, was involved and maybe to have the possibility to, to help the team in, in some point. Um, OK, but we don't expect too much uh, from him. Yes, I don't understand too much if the responsibility is from the platform, the, the responsibilities from the people. I think it's an acceptable situation that happened to, in nearly 2020, we are going to be in in few months, and it's an unacceptable thing. Um, I think if rather to be in this type of situation, be careful more for the Amazonas, uh, we care more for the immigration, we care more from the people is next to me, I think this world should be much better. But I, I don't want to be uh, populist or, or, or to do a, a meeting now uh, to talk about important things on, on life. I think stupid people is in everywhere. And of course, people that using that platform to be behind things that are for me are unacceptable. And, and of course, um, I am a person that if I can fight, I'm going to fight about that.